we call it the cook house. Uh, some call it the smoke house, but we, we just call it the cook house. And this is where we cook the pigs and chicken. I normally get here about one o'clock and I get the pigs going about two. If it's on a Saturday, I might cook three. Weekdays, one or two. Well, I'm uh, taking the head to feed off. We uh, we don't get much meat off the head, but we you got it, so you might as well cook it. We use oak wood, of course. Sometimes hickory if we got it. And it normally takes about five to six hours to cook one. Depends on how you get your wood going. If I get some coal burn up where I can get other there, we should be through in about five hours. And if we don't, we see we still got a couple of hours we can mess around on it. We'll have it ready by 10. It's kind of like a lazy man job. You're through now, you got to sit out and wait. <laughs> We're the first stop on the barbecue trail. It's basically noting the places that cook it the old fashioned way, cooking the whole pig over hardwood coals. In our opinion, anything less than that, you don't have real barbecue. I mean, that's, it, it sounds simple because it is simple, it's just hard work. And that's why it's, it's becoming a dying art because in this today's world everything's fast quick right now and convenient cooking with wood is exactly opposite of that i've been in the barbecue business off and on for 55 years but only 44 at this location now, the barbecue trail is a uh, sort of like the wine trail where people have different places to visit this is to cook our barbecue with we'll burn about a pickup load and a half a day we use oak and hickory and uh, we cook with direct heat. Our barbecues all cook with wood. We'll average uh, feeding a thousand people a day. My grandfather used to cook hogs and I'd help him. And so I always kind of knew how to do it. Ever since I've been big enough to remember. It started off, my, my brother, for some reason, was going to do barbecue on Friday, Saturday. And he built the place. Started on Friday and wanted to sell out on Saturday. <laughs> so my, my wife, she helped him that day. And uh, he said, this ain't for me. Why don't you buy it and let Gerald run it? So I asked her, did she want it? She said, yeah. So we, we bought it, been here ever since. I uh, opened the doors at 5.30 and began to serve the customers. They usually come in and want uh, breakfasts or sandwiches or whatever, coffee or whatever. I got all scrubbed up and got ready and I made uh, biscuits, put them in the oven of course. And my husband is cooking on the other meats for breakfast. And then we get ready. Well, in the meantime, we're still cooking them for lunch. Barbecue, that is. Pigs. <laughs> I remember Mama used to cook pies. I was always one when I was small. I'm sitting around the kitchen watching. So I had an idea how to do it. So I just got there, stirred it up myself. It came out all right. Don't taste too much like sweet potatoes when you get through with it. When I get through cooking today, I do the shopping, tend to the cows, do a little bit of farming. Uh, in other words, I don't stay here too much after the day. I'll get gone. <laughs>